Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and today we are going to do orange and clove tea. This is really good for the fall um, going into the winter season. Um, it has a lot of antioxidants and um, it gets rid of uh, common cold uh, flu symptoms and it has quite a bit of vitamin C. So I thought that it was going to go well in our harvest -y, um, tea series, even though we did not harvest the orange or the clove, um, <laughs> but I did peel it. So, um, so the orange we're using today is actually um, a mandarin orange, which I've never tried before, but we saw them at the store. They are a little bumpy and they have some ridges and some of them have a little bit of spots, but I think it's normal because they all seem to be like that or it's just where we bought them from. Um, so it looks like this when it's peeled, which looks mostly like a tangerine. So my brain is calling it a tangerine in my head, but it's a mandarin orange. Um, we have our cloves and as you can see it looks like it's a little bit of cloves but anybody that has ever made clove tea knows that this may look like a little bit but it's probably too much. <laughs> cloves, <laughs> cloves are notorious for being really really fragrant and really flavorful which really helps with their medicinal benefits. Um, cloves can be used for a lot of things like um, helping with toothaches or reducing inflammation. So, and we did a video a couple of weeks back on making clove um, tea, which can also be used as mouthwash. So if you're curious, please check that one out. Um, but yeah, this is our cloves. Okay guys, so we're just going to take our orange peel and our clove and maybe a couple of these little a couple of these little orange pieces and we're going to add them to the tea kettle and we're going to let it boil. I quite like this as a fall tea blend cuz it has the kind of the traditional northern hemisphere fall colors. Uh so I mean, it's got it kind of goes with the theme. Um but it's it's Besides being a spice tea, it's, it's not really anything to do with fall, but... <laughs> okay guys, so this is the tea. The first thing I noticed when I was pouring it is the smell. It smells just like oranges, but it also has a spice scent, which is obviously the cloves. Um, so I'm going to taste it now in my handy dandy taster cup. <laughs> did it okay well mom actually made this tea blend but we're not going to tell you about that. Um, so the oranges you can actually taste the oranges and the spice usually when i make a spice blend tea i end up overusing, over putting the spice in and you taste more spice less fruit but this the first thing you get is the orange which would mean you want to use at least two um orange orange pills so like the orange pills of two oranges but i used one uh no i snuck some extra ones in okay well um <laughs> you also need to have your parent just take over your tea apparently and that comes out really well uh, but you have to get them to do the, the just best remedy um also if you guys saw you use a small amount of the spice not a lot even though it seems like two cups of water that was for two cups of water that little amount of cloves um, but it is really good really flavorful that has no sugar in it but I did try the mandarin oranges before we made the tea the fruit part and the mandarin oranges have a natural sweetness to them uh, kind of like when you get them in a can but they don't have the syrupy taste they just have a natural sweetness so I think that is how it carried through into the tea but I do think you guys should try it um, it is a really good tea and it's good for around this season to keep you nice and warm inside and to taste amazing. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. Bye guys!